It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And the focus of this one is on Odell Beckham Jr. Always staying busy, he's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Ravens and the Cardinals. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Today we've got a weekend matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape. So here come the Ravens with their first look on offense. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And what a first half of the season he's had, leading the NFL in passing yards to this point. He's been a tough man to slow down. So this defense certainly has its work cut out for him. Throwing on first down, Henry escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Looking to throw, Henry. Throw out wide is incomplete. So Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level, 7-0. And we're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere, the dermatologist was on speed dial. But I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both love them. We in the media, we'll start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. And just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. On first and ten, Henry. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. On the previous drive, he was able to hook up with Odell Beckham for the touchdown. And now here they go again, first down. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. Fights him off. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it, a gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was, whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. He can't get him down. And a nice stiff arm. It opens room to run. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That's good for a Raven first down. 15 yards there. the play fake Henry he finds the rookie Zay Flowers and he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45 now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field 
Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They go play action here on first down. It's caught. Back up. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the Cardinals 46 yard line. Off the bootleg. Henry. He completes it to Beckham. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 21. Now, hang on. We got an injured player down there. Oh, boy, that's Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ, who's hurting. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out. And that'll... Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, 62 yards. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring and another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. their quarterback with this offense to take over once more he had three touchdown passes in that game a week ago he's got two already here in this first half as his guys start first and ten throwing to start the drive Henry Down the right sideline. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, 75 yards. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had three touchdown passes in the game last week. He's already got three here in the first half alone as his guys start first and ten. Let's go. 
Throwing to start the drive. Henry. That's caught. It's Flowers. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A good pick up there. 26 yards from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Henry. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 16 more on that one and another first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. On first down, Henry. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens continue to pull away here in this first half. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. He threw his league best 35th touchdown pass of the year on that last drive. And they'll start here on first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Gus Edwards, 75 yards. And the Ravens are able to widen their advantage. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big-time play, big-time result. And now here come the Ravens. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. They'll run the toss here. Edwards. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A word that tackle for loss to the safety, Buda Baker. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. They're looking deep here for Flowers, and this will be caught at the 30. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers taking it in. And the Ravens are pouring it on. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. So here are the Ravens to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight.
Now a play fake here on first down. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. This a second and seven from the 37. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a couple. Off play action. Henry. That one into the hands of Flowers. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll run here with Edwards. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And now hang on here. Looks like we have an injured player. Yeah, Mark Andrews is in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From the two now, second and goal. Once more, Edwards. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Gus Edwards with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance. And the Ravens taking the field. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance in this one. Ready. 
Throwing to start the drive. Henry. Throwing out left and finding Likely. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10, down at the 33. Off the play fake, Henry rolling to his left. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. It's been a fun game for him so far, but I think he tried to do just a little too much that time. Give the defense a rare win on that snap. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw, Henry. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To the right side, this is Edwards. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. He was brought down at the 8-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Facing a second and six from the eight. Off play action. Henry. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the ball is going to wind up out of bounds. So they will lose yardage, but they'll keep the football. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Steps away. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So it makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And this team continues to stake its claim as Super Bowl favorites. They are now eyeing an eighth straight win as they begin this drive here in the fourth quarter. Raven's going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Oh, 
They'll start this drive out on the ground. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now second and seven from the 23. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago. And you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense. And they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for Baltimore, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Arizona, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. And, and they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns.